Hello and welcome. Welcome to part 12 of our German search and rescue ship build. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe and hit that notifications tab so you get notified as the model as these come out. Um, gives a comment and a thumbs up, always helpful. Um, and uh, well, let's get into um, where we're up to here. So as you can see, we left off with our searchlights done, which are there, and our little area around the roof that's going to go up here and that's what i got to do now is glue this on and then before that piece is put on the back the roof will be slid into it which i've already test fitted and it fits fine um so uh yeah that's that's i think i showed you all that didn't i with the photo etch on the back it's all painted up and as i found out thank you jeff donahue for pointing that out those are actually sinkholes or sink marks on the back of those yeah uh, so what am i going to do <laughs> do i leave them i think i'm going to leave them don't tell anyone all right just we'll keep that between us <laughs> all right um yeah so i'm going to do this now i'm going to put this on it's been a long time coming because this oil paint just literally took like a week to dry i'm never well i'm gonna to have to use it again on the mast but i've learnt my lesson on that all right um we spoke about the crane it works off the back here and how that connects in behind the um the uh, what do you call that hoist you know what it is <laughs> i'm bad i know we've got to build up some bits for the back of that We'll probably do that in video but i did promise putting this roof on so let me do that and uh we'll be right back when i have a, after i've done that and i'll tell you how successful it was <laughs> all right back shortly okay i'm back and what i did was show you here i've glued the roof inside the frame first that seemed to work better and put the back on but then i found there was a gap not at that end, there's a gap there. And this piece is just not long enough. I don't know why. I mean, these sides are sitting flush against the, the roof panel. There's no way they could be any closer, and there's a, there's a gap. So what I've done is I've put a little styrene in there, filled it, and that'll be fine. And what I'm going to do is, I'm sure that's going to be in the right position. There it is. Um, is I'll just, next time I've got that colour out, my favourite, oil color doing the mask i'll just touch up that spot there but yeah there was a pretty obvious gap i needed to fill so problem solved and there it is that's going to be sitting on top like that um, i'm going to glue that down now just going to make sure it's going to be in the right position looks fine all right so i'll get that done and um then we'll come back and we're probably up to moving on to the um, helipad, eh? Okay, back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So the roof went on, it's gluing, it's got a weight on it. I'm going to leave it overnight, make sure it's glued down properly. Um, trust me, it's just over there. It's all good. So I'm glad I can move on to something a bit different, which is the helipad in step 40. Now, just um, make sure everything's ticked off. So 38, you can tick that one off. That's, make sure. Yes, that's all done, which is good. Um, step 37. Well, yep, that's all done. Yes. 36 is ticked off, so they're all done. This bit we're coming back to, weren't we? Or did we do that? Oh, we did that, yes. We built that. Um, that's our crane, which is all there. If I've undecoded it, that's all. So I need to put a white coat on that. So we'll tick that, that's fine. Um, so, 
Helipad. Excellent. All right. Now I'll get some pieces off the sprue here. We've got all the railings to go around the outside. The helipad itself is B30 by the looks of it. Uh, there's actually is some photo etch lights to go underneath here by the looks of it. Um, they look like photo etch ones that I've made up, even though it didn't tell me on the instructions for the photo etch. But that's no surprise. <laughs> all right. Um, let's have a look at the helipad first. We'll get that off. That's on B30. Let's find B30. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so here's our helipad. Um, all pretty basic. Just got to clean up. I've just snipped it off the sprue. Um, we seem to have a rail already there. Um, there's quite a lot of railing. It goes all the way around here, which I have to dig up and get that out. Um, one unusual thing, well, this is, the whole of this is going to be done metallic grey. There's no decal for the, the H here, so it's all going to be grey. So I'm, I will have to look at some um, footage and see what this looks like, because I, I just would imagine that would be white or a different colour and not blend in so much. But it, the instructions do say the whole thing is metallic grey. I'm just looking at F or iron metallic. Yeah, and we'll check on that. Um, obviously, the railings will all be white. And another part of this strange too, bring it over, is this section here. So we're looking at here. There's where this railing is down. They're telling us to connect some of the cotton that's supplied and make three strands of it from this railing, which runs down here. This sounds like it's broken. Yeah, it's broken on there. It's okay. And this railing here. So we've got to make three strands of cotton going across there. That's going to look a bit unusual. Can you see them there? Okay. I'm uh, just checking on M. What color is M? Well, M is uh, black. Black silk mat is this railing. So this one that's down is black. The rest will be white. This will be metallic iron, apparently. And then we go do this cotton bit. Well, well, we'll figure that out. Obviously, that would be something I can do at the very end. And down underneath here, there's these little lights, I think that is. Q, which are like the other lights I've put on there, which would uh, came in brass. So I may be able to put them. They sit just under here somehow. All right. So what I'll do, the best way, is um, lay out all the pieces, get all our railing, put it all in the position, and see how it looks. But I do need to check on um, some reference of the top of this before I just go with flat doing it all iron metallic um, and it would have to be sprayed this would have to be sprayed before the railings go on anyway all right so I'll look at that I'll be back in a sec okay so here's our pieces railings all off um, now this one here that I was mentioning before that goes somehow under the back here Oh, I think it sits in there. Really not clear. Um, yeah, I think it sits underneath like that. Anyway, they have to be taken off and replaced. I found them here. These two bits here. And there it is there. So I'll take them off. And um, I've already made those up. Put them on there. Uh, it doesn't tell me. Oh, it's got letter Q for the colour to paint them, which will be probably green or red. Let's see. Oh, brass metallic. Okay. That's what that is. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, now one of these pieces, this one here, uh, was bent on the sprue. You can see how that's not straight. So 
what I'm going to do is just put that in some warm water and straighten that up a bit. The rest were all fine. Um, and they'll be, they'll be good. They'll go on well. Again, I'll look at the reference. I know they're just white, but, you know, we'll just see. These might be, well, you know, you would think they'd have photo etch for these, wouldn't you? Because it's not really going to be solid, are they? they? They should more likely be like a mesh uh, netting or something. But they're not, and we'll deal with them. I think there was a comment uh, of someone who's built this or, or starting to build it, saying that, you know, this was something that they left out. They should have had more photo etch for, which I'm starting to agree with. All right, I'll be back um, when I do some reference photos of particularly the the base of the helipad. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, I'm back again. I did some checking up, and uh, it turns out that uh, this is all metallic iron. There is no standout H for the helicopter. Um, there's a photo I'll put up in the corner here. There's the shot of the heli deck on the ship. So you'll see the color is all gray in there. You'll also notice that this is the same color as around the top of the bridge and the upper deck of my favorite oil paint. So guess what color that has to be? So yes, I'm gonna have to mix my oil paint up. But what I'm thinking of doing is painting this after it's installed because this overhangs. I don't think it's going to be a problem and I can just brush paint it on the ship because it will literally take a week before I can handle it. That stuff stays dry, stays wet for so long. If it's on the on there already, then it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, I can do that. Now the other thing you'll notice if you look at that photo is these do not have these covers inside. All right, they're open. They just railings like anything else now i don't think i can cut those out um, i wish i could but i don't think i can um, yeah that that would be nice if i could but the whole things are just too flimsy and yeah i don't know um I might try, I might try to do that, I'll think about it. But for the moment, I'm gonna work on this, I'm gonna get this undercoated and uh, tidied up and ready to get some color on there, eh? Okay, be back shortly. Okay, so I straightened that piece that was um, bent, some hot water, and it's fine now. And what I've decided to do is, um, before I undercoat all of this, and I've decided I can't, I'm not going to take the insides of those off, but I may make it a slightly different color. I might put sort of a tannish color on it, and so it does look like it's, um, you know, like a, I don't know, material or something across there. I don't know, I'll do something. Um, so what I've decided to do is move on. Um, those stairs are already built. We did them way back when we did all the photo etch stairs, so that's done. We've got this little piece here, which is part of 43. That's that piece in there. And the reason why it's separate is because it's got a life buoy, and it looks like a bracket um, that it sits on in there. And that's actually, from what I can tell, inside this structure, which I'll going to do now which goes under the which the teleport teleport <laughs> the helicopter what am i thinking <laughs> wrong ship it's not, it's not star trek um the the um section under the helipad which is also where the other boat goes um so i'll build all that up because the helipad is not actually put on until after this is put down see which is another thing which is why we're we building that before it goes on when we could just build this and then put it on but anyway i think this is done too 
There's also, looking a bit further ahead, some other bits to go on the back, which I've already made them all up, I think. Yeah, I'm sure I've made them all up. Uh, they go down on the rear deck there. And then finally the heliport uh, goes on top with those exhaust pieces. If you remember a few episodes back, I made those up. They're ready to, um, to paint. They're like um, metallic because they're exhausts. And they go under there. So it's a bit on before we put that on there. So I'm going to make up this and this, this and this one. Okay, so I'll go take all those pieces off and um, see about putting that together. And that way it can all be sprayed at the same time. Okay, back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So I said I would do the piece, the superstructure that goes under the helicopter deck. And there it is. Done, all glued together. All fits, that's the important thing. Just to make sure, just checked it all up on here, everything lines up. Fits fine for that. Everything straight, just how I want it. There was also these extra pieces here that go on, that the stairs go on. Um, the reason I put it all together like this is now I can paint it like this because I don't have to worry about in here because that's going to be all covered up. I just got to paint the inside walls in there and uh, pretty much everywhere else. But that's about it. So this is the rear, I think. Yes, so that comes out here under the deck, like that. Those exhaust pipes will come out here. And that fits on top, as you saw. Uh, I've put that there as a handle, like I usually do, to hold it while I'm spraying. And uh, this will be easy. I'll just use a clamp underneath. Uh, I've still got to add the, um, the boy life boy there to that which i realized i'd only painted up i don't think i painted oh yes i did i can see it from here good i've got that ready to go there it is in there look get that out of the way look in here there it is in there see painted up and that's going to sit on there somehow <laughs> that's where that'll go I think I've still got a little, do little white bits on it, but that's almost done. You got these bits are all for the rear deck as well, a bit on the side somewhere. Um, there's the uh, lights, navigation lights, and the other bit that goes on here. We will go take these plastic bits off and put two of these on, which I might just uh, put them over there so that. I know that's what I'm going to do. So there's one. And two. And I think I maybe have to... Yeah, I've still got to put the bottom bases on them as well. There's two of them there. I know you can't see, but there they are there. Okay. So I don't forget. All right, looking good. Now what I might do here is put the aerial. This is that tall aerial that goes on the the roof, which I'm called is a deck. I'm, I've been told is a deck because people because there's spotlights up there, so people still go up there, um, which means it's a deck. So this aerial. I might put in this one here with all my other little bits and pieces so it doesn't get lost. Okay. So that's that done. As far as I know, all this stays on here. Unlike where we took all this off and we added railing, 
don't think there is railing to be added to this. I'll have to check on that. It just seems unusual that they would miss doing those parts. Even that little bit there. So I'll, I'll double check on that. Um, our stairs are fine. But yeah, that's a good point. I will check on that. Even door handles. You know, we did the door handles on the other others as well. Well, maybe there's some spares around. I can change them for the photo edge. All right, I'll, I'll check all that. Okay, excellent. Um, I'll just sort myself out here, and we'll come back and see what is next. But as far as I can tell, <clears throat> 41's done. 42 is done. It will be when I put the life boy on. 43 is put together. 44 is putting it down on the deck, which will happen after we paint. But otherwise, everything is there for that. <coughs> Just to double check for the photo etch. Okay, I'll be back shortly. Okay, welcome back again. So I just quickly had a look at the photo etch instructions. And sure enough, here in step 10, <laughs> uh, is the area below the helicopter pad and it's showing both sides with all that taken off so that raised bit has to come off that has to come off that bit there and the same here and here so and that will be replaced with the cotton that's used as a uh, the cable safety cable that we've got going around the rest of the ship and this will be replaced by railing on there there's some photo etch railing we also have the uh what is that uh door handle so we've got door handles for there like i thought there would be and there's also what is 57 i need to check what number 57 is because it doesn't really show very, very clearly um, 78 and 76 are little pieces where the um, cable connects to so that's okay let me just check photo edge 57 and see what that is it's just not clear what it is on the picture here all right I'll be back in a sec Okay, so I found out what 57 photo etch is. There's one, two, three, four of them there. I don't know if you can see. Let me put that underneath, might help. So you see those sort of a triangular pieces? There they are there. So they're edge like corner supports for the that go on the wall here. One, two, and I'm guessing possibly here I, I don't know it only shows where one piece goes i'll have to figure out where the rest go um so they're like little supports that will go there <laughs> how about that talk about detail i would say they'd probably go under here as well or don't think there's clearance because there's already something on the wall there I'll find out where they go. So yeah, photo which it's a little bit missing there. All right, now, <laughs> if I'd have seen this earlier, there's another example of my inexperience, I guess, and missing things. It would have been a lot easier to take this molding off before I glued them on to here like this. But fortunately, I can get my fingers in under here, so I've got a bit of support and I'll be able to work that off and then sand it down. And the same with that. Door handle's not a problem. This one here is a little bit trickier, but it should be all right. I'll get them off. It's just going to take a little bit more time than if I had, had done it when they were just the individual pieces. And, of course, putting the photo etch on there and all that before it all gets painted. So that's my next job. <laughs> okay. Um... So I'll be gone. That, that, that's, it's now 
night time. So that's it for me for the night. Um, I'll get onto this in the morning or tomorrow. Uh, but for you, it's two seconds away. Eh? <laughs> All right. I'll be back. I'll start working on this. Back soon. Okay, back guys. So I've just um, undercoated the um, helicopter pad and the fencing around it, the railings. And while that's drying, um, I'm just taking these molding, molded pieces off the side walls here. And I've got this little file here. I don't remember what brand it was. It's nothing written on on here. Um, but it's really good, eh? Very, very sharp. Just run it along. Just being careful not to go deeper than you need to. And then when you've got the piece off, uh, you just come along with a piece of um, sandpaper and just, you know, move it down. So the railing's gone from there and there now. Still got the railing to take off that one there. And this top piece here, which is where the cable line goes. And on here, I'm just going to take them off now. And then um, probably, yeah, then cut some photo wedge to put on. I'll take that handle off as well because there's a handle to go on both those doors. I'm not too sure about these doors at the front here, if there were handles or not. I'll have to check. Um, I'd assume there would be, but we'll check, double check and triple check. <laughs> okay, I'll keep taking this mold off and um, we'll come back and uh, have a look at the photo etch. Okay, back with uh, all the photo etches put on now. So just straighten that up. So I've got the corner supports there, the guides for the cable, safety cable on there. I've got the railing, there's the railing there, door handles around this way, door handle, small railing there. It's all, uh, all done. Just to be careful how I handle this, <laughs> but that's ready to undercoat and paint white. Um, so I will go and do that now and add it to the helipad that's been done in the railings. Uh, just double checking, I think everything's fine for that. Um, just check stairs, see? The stairs for these we made earlier. And they are painted, so that's them in there. So they're all good to go on, so that's, that's fine. All right. Um, there's just these little bits on here I might as well do as well. It gets stuck under the belly pad as well. So I'll put those together and paint them up. All right, and then we'll come back and I can tick off that section. Pretty much should be that whole page on there. I know we're jumping around. Oh no, I can see some more stuff that needs to be done. It's uh, connection points where the cables go. So, not quite finished with that yet. All right, I shall return. Okay, welcome back, guys. So, there we go, there's our helipad painted up uh, with the silver. I'm just, uh, I'm just taking off this uh, tape here so, because I'm doing the outside of this in the orange. I didn't want to get anything. So that's all good. Take that off there. Perfect. Now I've only painted that half hour ago, so that's still drying. But um, yeah, so the next thing will be to paint around there. But that'll be after I put on the railings. Uh, because, let's put that there. Here's our railings here. They're all painted up. Now, the reason I'm painting that after is because the bottoms of these railings where it sits over the edge 
that connects on the side there is also the orange color as well. So I'll be painting those when they're on. Now again, I've just painted these not long ago, so I'm going to leave them to dry properly. I'll set all this aside. And, uh, go there. Now I've also painted all of this. Don't know what you would call this part. Well, it's a superstructure, I guess. There's our railings on there. Um, yeah, came up really nice, hey? Doors. So that the next step for this actually is pretty much just putting it on the deck. Um, of course, we've got our life boy to go in there, which I've got that ready, so I can pop that on there. Uh, again, this has just been sprayed, so it's drying. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much set to go on the deck. All right, so leave that there for the moment. It's probably not going to... Uh, I'll put that somewhere safe. Uh, let me just uh, put this somewhere and we'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I was just going through the instructions of what's been done. We've pretty much done all this, so I'll have I'll be putting the railings on. The stairs are already made up, uh, pieces all together. So we'll be the next thing we're doing is putting this down on the deck. Also the stairs, putting on that. I've already test fitted it, so we'll bring the ship back down onto the bench here and do all that. Um, I was just looking over the page here at some of the things. So we've got some bits and pieces to go down on the rear of the deck here. Um, I think I've got most of that made up in previous um, builds, sections that I've done. I think they're all in amongst here somewhere. So that's fine. Now, what I have noticed here is those exhausts that have to be fitted, they show them going on underneath here. Um, but it's interesting. There's, there's one piece here. I don't know what that is. Um, but to fit it, you got to turn the whole ship upside down and fit it underneath where one of those exhaust pipes is, which is interesting. It's painted letter P. What's that? Um, P is, uh, what's that? Rust. The rust color. Interesting. Anyway, we're not at that point yet. All right, so I'll, um, yeah, we'll bring the ship down here and we'll start putting some stuff down on the deck, eh? Okay, back in a sec. Oh, and one more little detail I just added. Um, I just painted up that uh, life boy that'll go under here. But also, uh, with this you'll see that there are little windows on tops of these doors here. There's one in there. There it is. Um, and there's no glass for them. There's no nothing for it. So I just painted them with uh, some silver. And what I'll do is when that dries, I'll just top that up with some of my uh, little extra glue, ultra MIG, X, MIG ultra glue and give it that glass dome effect in there. Um, yeah, otherwise that's all ready to go. Okay, so like I said, we'll get back onto the ship. We'll, we'll bring it over here, back in a sec. Okay, welcome back. So as promised, there's our, our vessel or ship back on the bench. All right, starting to look good with the top on the bridge there. So now we get to put on the superstructure that goes below the helipad. And I'll just show you what I've done with the helipad. Just grab this for a moment. And there it is there, all painted up. I've got the railings all the way around. That front railing's painted black as per instructions with the little Bits in the front there done in the metal. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, 
well, excuse me. Now, all you got to do on here is paint that fluorescent orange all the way around, which I will do after it's on here. Um, mainly because it takes like a month to dry and I don't want to have to handle it um, while I'm putting it on. So I think once this is sitting on here, I'll have no trouble going around and painting that up on the outside. That'll be fine. So let's just uh, do a bit of a test fit here, which I know will be all right, but I'll do it anyway. I think it goes that way. This one you'll see I've also put the life boy on the inside. It's all on there. This will go just checking the right way. Looks good. Pretty much just like that. That is the right way around, yeah. All right, so that's going to go down there. So that's pretty much ready to glue down. There are the stairs to go on here, but I can do that afterwards. And uh, that's good. Now, this, which I've already test fitted, to go on top of here, uh, just check the instructions. So... Got this going on right, and it's the right way around. Yep. Right, so that's going to hang off the back there like that. Looks like, and that is that I think. Yes. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, so that's going to sit on there like that. And like I said, I'll be able to paint all that while that's on there. No problem. All right. Okay, so now I will go and glue this on. Um, yeah, fantastic. All right, I'll be back and we'll see how she looks. Okay, we're back again, and the bottom superstructure is glued down to the stern. I was about to glue this down. When I checked the instruction, I realized there's some stuff that needs to go on the back deck, so that will not be glued down just yet, because on the rear here, we need to put some stuff that I pre-made. There's a life raft, barrels, there's a couple of hatches, hatchways, um, yeah, a few things that obviously are going to be easy to do while that's out of the way. Also, there's a couple of support poles that go up here, and it sits between the exhausts that come out here. So I'll show you what I mean. I'll just grab the container. Uh, so we have these exhausts, which sit off the back of there like like that there's going to be two on each side there we go so there's one two here and two there and then in between them are these poles <laughs> which will sit in there there's a little spot for them and go up into the floor of the helipad which explains what those holes were those two holes were, I didn't know, I thought, what's that? And then I realised, yeah, the top of these go up into there. So, yeah, that's just going to go like that. All right. Um, and I also test fitted so that when this is glued down, I can still get these up under there and put those exhausts on um, after I put the helipad on. So all I need to do right now is uh, put in these bits, which are, I'll be back in a sec while I just grab them and get into a better position here to show you. Okay, so 
for this is step 46 and we just need to put all these pieces down here so what I have is these which will go on the outside so one's going to go there Alright, these may not stand up too well. They've got photo etch that will connect onto the side, but basically that's going to go there. There's one on this side. And then in that spot there, we have these, which were built, put together a long time ago. I think that's going to go like pretty much just like that. Um, and then... There are two parts that I didn't build because see how here it's telling us refer back to step 23, which was when those two were made. Step 45, we made those two, which was actually earlier because there are a lot of photo etch, so I did them. These ones here I haven't done. Um, and I don't think there's photo etch for them, but I will check. But I need to get the case sprue and, um, and get those off. And they will go pretty much looks like just here just here on the deck either side all right okay so it's coming along really well okay i'll be back and um we'll progress a bit further okay hello welcome back so we've got a bit of a different view here we're looking through the, the back underneath the helipad which is currently glued. I've got oh, my um, third hand weight up on the top just while that dries. Um, I've put the two containers in. They've been painted up and they've been glued in. Everything else is in under here except for the poles that go up to support this, which are right here. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll put those in shortly. Um, they'll just slide in under there, no problem. But under here, we need to do these exhausts that come out from in here, which I'm assuming would be generators in there. Um, so there's one of the exhausts there. And it will sit up under here. So there'll be two, one there and one there. They go either side of the, the support pole and two on the other side. Now, these are... In the instructions a uh, rust color well Tamiya don't make a color called rust <laughs> so we have to make our own of course I'm not going to do it too rusty but we'll give it that metallic look as though it is a an exhaust pipe all right um, yeah so what I'm doing is I'm just putting them on toothpicks here sorry about that and I might just fix the camera back up so we can have another look. In fact, I will. Anyway, yeah, back in a second, I'll readjust the camera. Okay, that's a bit better. So there's our four exhaust pipes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint them in XF56, which is a metallic grey. Slightly darker metallic grey, so they're not going to look chrome. They'll look grey. And then I've got this um, Mr. Hobber weathering color, which is a stained brown. And I think that might um, go over the top and make it look rusty. If not, I do have a, a rust color, but it sort of has an orangey thing effect, like a really like damaged rust. So I don't really want to use that, but I think this one will be fine, the stained brown. And I'll do those pipes. So that'll take me a little bit of time. Um, but while that's drying, we'll, as we normally do, move on to something different, move on to the next step, which is, let me just take a quick look. Okay, so the next step will be the hoist, which we did in the previous video. Uh, there it is there, all painted up with a bit of photo etch on there. And um, this has a lot more pieces to go on the back of here where it sits across um, on the edge of that uh, helipad. Anyway, that's getting a bit ahead. I'm going to get these painted up so they can dry, and then I can put this weathering stained brown on there, and we'll see how they come up. 
Okay, good. I'll be back in a second. Back shortly. Okay, welcome back again. So I've got those parts drying, the exhausts are drying. And then while I was looking, I saw the next step 48 was another little exhaust pipe here. K223 painted the same color that goes on the side of just one side there. So I quickly took that off the sprue, trimmed it up and um, painted it up and it's drying with our other two exhausts there. Um, so that pretty much does that and that and all those bits on there. I will tick that off. That's done. This I won't yet because we need to actually put them on. So I'll wait. So now we're going to move on to step 49, which is lots of little pieces that go onto the back of this. But I know there's also a lot of photo etch for this as well. And I'll just uh, grab the piece photo etch instructions. Um, I've also put the ship back off the bench until um, we're ready to put those exhausts on. And I forgot to mention these stairway will go on there as well when we bring it back. All right, now let me just grab the instructions for the photo etch. Okay, so here's our photo etch parts that go around the base of here. Grab that again. Yeah, so on here there's this extension piece here which we've got to make that up completely. Uh, and that comes off, off there by the looks of it. It's sort of hard to get orientation of what I'm looking at here. There's another navigation or a light that goes on there. I'm assuming that's on that part. Um, there's a little frame bracket that goes in underneath there. 18, yeah. So it looks like I've got to make up this part first. And yeah, it replaces uh, quite a bit of plastic. Although some of the plastic is used as well. So I'll probably have to make sure I'm putting on what I need to. That little piece number 59 looks like the this step 18 here that we have to build up. Um, the rest of these plastic parts will all go on by the looks of it. So they all get attached there, so it looks quite simple. <laughs> so I say until I mess something up. Um, yeah. And then the whole thing goes down onto the side of the helipad there. So that looks okay, I guess. It's a bit deceiving that picture there. It looks like it's going over on the corner of the helipad here, but it's actually going right out on the front on that plate on the front there because it has to extend all the way across uh, the ship over to where the bridge is, where we where we've attached. If you remember, there was a little. Um, like a hook that comes off the floor that it's attached to, which we made up here. There it is there. So we've got this little support, which is for the end of this to sit on. See, it's going to sit like that. And then from this hook, we got this piece to attach down behind that winch system we have on the deck. And there is a little piece I've kept aside that goes down on the deck that, that all this hooks onto. <laughs> All a little bit complicated, but we'll get there. All right, um, I'm going to start working on these, get the plastic bits off, tidy them up, and um, we'll have a look at putting some photo etch on this piece here. That may, seems to be one of the major part that needs um, detailing. All right, be back shortly. Okay, welcome back again. So here we go. We've all this done, I've just finished gluing it together. Now, get that to focus so you can see the photo etch on there. Actually quite detailed. It's like a little lever that you'd lift up and that would let you rotate this crane around. And photo etch is replicating that. 
And it's quite a complicated piece, the way all this sits in there. See it there like that. And the way it sits is the deck will slide in under there. And I have test fitted it and it, it does it does fit in there quite all right. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's come up really good. Um, so like I said, I, I undercoated this piece before I put all this on. So I'm just going to re-prime um, it. Uh, and then I'll hit it with the uh, white that I want it to be. There it is there. And that piece will be done and probably ready to put on as well. So, yeah. Just checking the instructions at the moment. And, yeah, it pretty much... There it is there in step 49. So we put all that together with all the photo etch and it pretty much just goes straight on. And... Uh, Oh yeah, there's some another platform and some railings to do that go across there. But yeah, progressing really well. So I'm going to get this painted up, and uh, I think we might be able to put our exhausts, bring the ship back down onto the bench here, and put those exhausts on, um, and weather them, get them looking a bit, you know, dusty, dirty, and. Uh, yeah, see how we go, eh? All right, I'll be back again in a sec. Okay, back again. Now I've done those exhaust pipes. What do you think of those? Come up all right, eh? And uh, I didn't do what I said I was going to do. <laughs> I uh, ended up using um, a a dark, a black um, pin wash over that silver rather than the brown. So that's given that metallic look with a bit of a, a dirty look to them. The ends of the pipes in there are done in rubber black, which is Tammy XF 85. And that, that's shown up as nice in there. Now the same with this exhaust piece across here. Um, not as much on that, so I thought I'd just uh, a bit of contrast and come up all right. So I'll leave them to dry um, for an hour or so, and then we can bring the boat down and put them on, eh? All right, back in a second, we'll do that. Okay, hello, back again. So, um, I think I've already showed you with that on, that's fine the uh, exhaust pipes. I don't know if that's the right word for them, but that's what they are. <laughs> um, they're on the back there. I'll put a couple of photos up here, get a better view or a photo. Um, they come up really good. I really like the way they sh come up. Um, look pretty realistic. <laughs> um, just going across here, I'm just test fitting the walkway that goes along here. And again, perfect fit. The, the distance from there to there, spot on. Now that'll be painted white and the inside of that is all um, uh, steel uh, metal grating, which in the actual ship you can see through. It's, it's hollow like you would expect, but unfortunately the plastic piece isn't. And I was hoping I could find something to replace it with. And I mean... It doesn't come with photo etch, which would have been good, um, but I don't have anything, so that's just going to have to stay solid. But I will paint that um, chrome like I've done with the steps. And as you can see, I've put the whoops, I put the steps on there, glued in place there. Again, fitting really nicely. Uh, if I just tilt the camera up, you'll see there's our crane or hoist. Um, it's painted. It's drying. I give it another hour and I can pretty much be able to fit that. So I'm looking forward to putting that on. Um, that walkway that I just showed you here also has some railings on either side. So I will go and paint those up while I'm waiting for that to dry. 
So that'll be something else that can go on because that is the next step is putting that walkway on um, after the crane goes on. Now, another thing I thing I found out too was when I checked the photo etch instructions, which happens to me quite often, I found out that you can see there's a chrome piece, piece of photo etch that went on there. There it is there. And there was a tiny little ring went around that photo etch. So there were a couple extra pieces I found. Okay. But other than that, it's all painted up. And that's going to go on. That's going to look really good. I've already test fitted that. And it, again, perfect fit. You have to stay there. Come on. Behave. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, another good fit. All right. So, yes, we'll, we'll be back um, when I put those on. All right. Back shortly. Okay. Welcome back. So we've finished. Well, we've finished up until step 50 now. And as you can see, we've got the walkway on and the hoist crane is there. Now, I haven't actually attached, glued this top piece on yet because we still need to, point with this, um, fix up the little bit down there, which is going to be attached to the pulley on here and i'm not sure yet but i may run that black line across to this pulley here as well um i'll just see how that works out but it's all come up really well hey look at that looking nice in there um so that's it that's it for this part uh 12 we're at um, let me just rearrange the camera and we'll have a look at what we're going to be doing in the next video. Back one second. Okay, so in the next video, uh, which will be part 13, we'll be moving on to step 51 and 52. And these will involve putting on the water cannons. So we've got them painted up previously. We've got two water cannons water cans one on each side of here and then there'll be one on the roof of the bridge or oh, and there's a pipe that runs up there and there's quite a bit of photo etch go on that piece as i will show you here uh, so there it is there Okay, so we've got to build up this here. That's the, the big water cannon on the roof there. And there's our pieces. And then we've got the photo etch all the way along it. Running the length of it, actually. So there's quite a few bits and pieces to put together. But that's going to look really nice up on the roof there. Um, and then after that, we move on to... 53 is already done, which is all of our spotlight searchlights and so forth on the top um, the aerials we've already done that's all done in 54 um, 55 is the mast and the mast is a major major job <laughs> we've got pretty much this whole page to look forward to of building up that isn't that incredible look at that so all of that is the mast. Okay. All right. So, again, thank you for watching and following me through the build so far. We're getting close. Don't forget there's another boat this comes with as well that we've got to build into the back. Um, please put your comments down below if you've got any comments, uh, questions, suggestions, um, tips. I know a few people are starting on this model now, so... Um, hopefully I've helped out in some way. Um, also might note that there's still a lot of um, railing that needs to go along here. The, uh, what do they call it? You know, where you hook onto it for safety reasons. So it's a cable. Yeah, a cable that's still got to go around. That will all go on last because the whole thing needs to be clear-coated. And then I can put 
that because it's just cotton. So I don't want clear coat destroying that. Um, please give us a thumbs up if you like the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you get notified of when the video comes out next for the next one and any others that I may be doing. And uh, again, thanks for watching and please uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next build, which will be part 13. Okay, bye for now. Cheers.